guys, welcome to Luna's Life. As you can see, she is wide awake and ready to see all of your wonderful comments and comment on them below. Um, today we're doing a very, very quick film about Luna's gerbilarium. So this particular one was chosen for the colour. My living room is where she is situated and my colour scheme is grey, so this goes wonderfully. It's a very pretty enclosure, but more than that, it's really, really practical as well. You can get so many different ones online, colourful for children, plastic, glass, um, but the reason that I like this particular one is because of the mesh top, the glass bottom, it keeps it very, very clean and tidy, so I don't get all of her care fresh kicked out when she's digging her tunnels. And she also has the option to have better airflow and to explore the top levels of her enclosure as well. So, without further ado, let's get into the details of this particular gerbilarium. This is made by Furplast and it's actually called the Gabri 50. This is the smallest gerbilarium that you can get from Furplast in this particular design. On their website it does cost £84 and it measures 52 centimetres by 27 centimetres by 44 centimetres and they do three other sizes so you've got the 50 you've got the 60 and you've got the 80 so clues in the title guys the 60 is 60 long and the 80 is 80 long that's pretty much the only difference they may vary just a few centimetres in width and height so the minimum requirements for a single gerbil is 30 by 28 by 28 and the general guidelines are you want to go bigger the more gerbils that you have. I wouldn't recommend this particular uh, enclosure for more than one gerbil, however on the box it does state that you can have two in there. But just my personal opinion, I think that this is good enough for one. But if I was going to go for more than one, I would definitely go bigger. Bigger is better, as they say. Um, so the larger tanks actually come with transparent plastic tube toys for the uh, rodents to play in. But the smaller one does not. It actually just comes with the bowl, water bottle, upper deck and ladder. Everything else you see in there is stuff that I've added later. Now with this tank, it has side clips that easily pop off and then the top half of the tank can be lifted off for easy cleaning and it also has these little plastic safety guards which protects the glass and the plastic when you pop it back on. Um, it has a door at the front which Luna's very excited because she thinks she's going to get a treat. Hi guys and her treat is seeing you. There she is gorgeous girl. Hello beautiful. Um, so it has a front opening door for easy access to your gerbil and for cleaning the top deck and for doing the food and the water. So daily spot cleaning is a breeze. I like this tank because it has a glass bottom and as you know guys, gerbils like to dig. I find that the plastic enclosures can get scratched really easily which means visibility down below of your gerbil is poor and eventually they will actually scratch holes in them and they can hurt themselves and escape. So the glass wire mesh combo is the best in my opinion. Um, and this was bought at Pets at Home. As you know, if you had seen my first video, the introduction to Luna's life, it's a gerbil thing. She uh, was purchased uh, from the adoption centre and this particular Furplast Gabri 50 model was purchased there also. Um, this was £52 at Pets at Home, but if you go to the Furplast website, uh, this is actually £84. Uh, the Gabri 60 is £115 and the Gabri 80 is £132. So you may be able to shop around and get them cheaper, guys, but I will put the Furplast link in the below, so please feel free to check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up and Luna. 
and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and click the notification bell because I am uploading frequently and we would love to share Luna with you and she would love to have you as part of her life and uh, get to know all of you very well and build up a little Jerby community. Um, and if you just want to come on here and learn some hints and tips, that's great. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.